Why is this confusing? Well, I'm going to show you why right now. Okay, so what a lot of students do, they're like, okay, I have x squared and I need to plug in negative 1 uh, for this x squared. So when you do this, you replace this x with negative 1, you think that uh, this expression now looks like this, negative 1 squared, all right? And you might be saying, well, yeah, isn't that right, Mr. YouTube Math Man? I mean, I just replaced the x with negative 1. Well, no, this is incorrect, okay? This is not right. And I'll uh, explain to you in one second why. But anyways, um, let's just take this expression right here, negative 1 squared, because this is another place where a lot of students make an error. So negative 1 squared, if I said, hey, uh, figure out what this is without your calculator, a lot of students might give the answer positive 1, because what they're thinking is, oh, this is going to be negative 1 times a negative 1. However, uh, that is incorrect. Okay, what we have to keep in mind is PEMDAS, the order of operations. So here we have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So the power, this 2, is acting upon this 1, not this negative sign. So what we have to do first is this uh, 1 squared. Now you might be saying, well, isn't this uh, exponent 2 acting, isn't this negative 1? No, not the way it's written, and I'll show you how to uh, distinguish uh, between um, negative 1 squared and this expression. This is one uh, negative, the opposite of 1 squared. This is what this is saying in mathematics. So 1 squared is what? Well, it's 1 times 1, so that's going to be 1. And then we're going to take the opposite of 1, or the negative of 1, and that is negative 1. 